so today I finally got my Traditions uh, muzzleloader kit in the mail. So this will be a short video of me unboxing and listing some of the components that came with it. And at the end, I will also show some of the uh, other tools I picked up off Brown Owls and Amazon to help me get this project done. My initial impressions is that uh, there's a lot more material removed from the stock than what I expected. Um, it's going to be a lot easier to shape this down. Um, the wood looks like it's good quality. Uh, the rough inletting looks like it's been it's fairly crisp. It will be very easy to clean up. Uh, the shape is good. There's no damage. And it appears to come with everything that is listed in the instruction manual. You have your brass parts. You've got your uh, cantaloupe for the uh, rod as well as the trigger and fire assembly group. you got your shipping labels the traditions manual, including the care and assembly instructions. I was extremely pleased with the quality of the chisels included. I, I was going to order more and was talking about it on the discussion forum, but uh, these were better quality than expected, and I can definitely sharpen these and uh, reuse if need be. And then here is the, uh, the inlining black. I was pleased to note that it is the hexagon barrel. Uh, it is a 50 cal, so get a lot more use for that than I would off another uh, caliber. The rod was straight and clean. Uh, overall, just really pleased with the wood. There's a little bit of spall on the end, um, so that'll make a really interesting speckle gray pattern uh, up, upon finishing. Some of the other uh, parts and equipment that I ordered would be the uh, dial micrometer. I actually got it for an exceptionally good price uh, off Amazon. Got a big old grab bag of acid brushes to use with the inlet in black. A couple different files. I also have like three or four different Dremel sets that I can use if need be to remove larger chunks of material, although I don't really think that'll be necessary. Some steel wool, a uh, spring center punch, and then this is another SDI provided tool, a non-marring hammer, which will be useful for the lighting. I have a couple more things to do off Amazon, but otherwise this combined with the rest of my already pre-owned gunsmithing tools will make this a breeze, I believe.